so today we are looking at the uncom os here is the boot menu so let's uh, quickly try the live boot which is uh, by uncom os without installing so i forgot to mention that i'm running it on a virtualization which is uh, vmware with uh, 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p Let's wait until the desktop layout loads and I'm going to say how much uh, of our time it took. So here we have the welcome screen or the desktop. It took almost a minute to load up uh, from the boot. So that was pretty much quick. So let's first change the display setting. Before that, let's uh, try to uh, check the system resources. I'm not going to change anything here, even the language. So it's a Russian uh, ISO or the Russian Linux distro. So some of my viewer uh, recommended to make a video yesterday. So that's the reason here is a video for him. So I don't think there is a system monitor here. Not here. Here it is. So in the beginning, it is uh, consuming this much of uh, resources. So these are all the processes. Here is the resources, which is 1.3 GB and it is a GNOME desktop environment. So let's check the about 45.0.2. Let's change the display settings now. Let's go to the settings. Bluetooth appearance the notifications so i don't think there is a english language in here so let's find the display change the display setting which is 1920 into 1080 we get settings let's check the about info which is down under the here so the name itself is uncom 2.3 lts i'm running it on a vmware this is my cpu I'm using uh, 8 GB of RAM, but it says as a 7.7. I'm using 60 GB of hard disk, but it says 64. Here are all the information. The kernel you get is a 6.2. And other options or other information is here. You can update. So let's close this. Let's put the system monitor in the right side corner as we do in every video. So you can see all the changes throughout the video. So we have a Andix browser instead of a Firefox browser because it's a Russian language or Russian uh, Linux distro. So let's wait for a few seconds and uh, open the official website. So this is the wallpaper you get uh, from the default. I think Andix is uh, based on a chrome browser i guess chrome chromium so let's change the size i don't know it is a bit of uh, heavy resource consuming so we don't know the language so let's try to make a video like that let's open google.com and uh, choose the English let's type in uncom Linux so here is the official website or the first link let's translate this page because we don't know Russian let's wait for a few seconds and uh, we should be good with uh, all the information here click on OK so you can add the language if you want 
so i don't know anything about this distro so that's the reason i'm not going to take any chances here so the browser is uh, consuming a lot of resources i guess there is a heavy lag as you can see even in the scrolling or maybe the website for life work and more an operating system that combines the freedom of open systems with the security of uh, enterprise solutions so you can uh, read everything on your own so in order to download you can just click on uh, get uncom os through reliability for the business an operating system that provides the required level of uh, capabilities and settings so there are a lot of things to read here so the recommended system requirements is the amd or intel amd 64 bit from 2 gigahertz ram from 4 gb and disk 25 gb we all uh, we have all those things so i'm using a 8 gb of ram and 60 gb of hard disk and uh, i have intel i5 1240p which is almost a 3.4 gb at something like that i don't properly remember we have everything there applications for any occasion and task so a lot of applications available i'm going to show everything you can buy the encom os so i downloaded for, for free so let me show you that get encom uh, os there are like a three options which is uh, home business and education you can try, uh, try that uh, for free uh, three options i choose the home uh, because you pretty much get everything just the extension of support from the second year 20 percent of the license cost let's scroll it down and in the education you get a special conditions for education educational purpose so that's the change you pretty much got everything here like a set of pre-installed programs access to more than 60,000 additional applications user-friendly and attractive design high level of compatibility so security no external blocking possible non-commercial use lifetime license standard fi2 to support for the life of the product so let me try for free which is a home how to test uncom os before purchasing you can download the current income os image from the link so this is not sponsored or anything just uh, some of my viewer asked so that's the reason i don't uh, pretty much know anything about this distro so let's try to download so the current version let's click on the download let's wait for a few seconds here I think the file size was uh, 7 GB I guess So I think it's a 3.2 GB Uncom 2024.02.18 I think it's a February uh, 2nd 2024 February 18 So that's the ISO file if you want you can test it on your own let's try to close this let's open the uh, terminal i hope i find the terminal here here it is let's make it bigger so we can get the distro information so as you can see there is a bit of lag and the resources is almost 1.7 gb in ram and the cpu is pretty much under 50 percent let's check the about terminal let me type in inxi run sudo app to populate hit enter i need to type in all those things i just don't want to just let's uh, Try everything. I think this uh, this is an installer, I guess. You can choose the languages here. If you try to install, uh, you can get I guess here. I hope. 
here we have the english language click on continue language support which is the first keyboard i'm choosing the english united states so updates and other software so you can check or uncheck uh, it's clearly up to you continue so it is this if you want to install it's always a good option go with the virtualization or the vmware or virtual box then or you can just try live boot or you can install it on your virtual disk because if you don't know anything about that distro it's better option go with the uh, virtual disk so i don't want to install it so let me close so there was nothing uh, more in the uh, installation process just these uh, almost every sim single uh, linux distro has this type of uh, installation so there is nothing complicated here here are some of the features so these are all the known features nothing complicated here you get a calculator i guess about the calculator here is the date time calendar activities here are all the applications you get a vlc uh, the media player and the telegram inta text editor a calculator some games the office suite some of the like uh, system apps so i think uh, this is something i don't know about the income os so here is some of the utilities and some basic things that's it you don't get anything uh, other than this of the applications so there is no uh, like uh, special things in this just a basic uh, same like uh, ubuntu with a gnome desktop environment you know so i don't think there is uh, anything uh, complicated or anything like that here just some of the basic things which is added to gnome desktop environment that's it so if you still want to try it you can try it on your own i don't have anything here so if we had anything like a uh, desktop features or any some of the changes other than uh, every linux system we can make the video longer but uh, again it's the same thing just the icon things are changed nothing more than that and we have the uh, another linux distro from the russia system we already made a lot of videos from the russian uh, russia so if you want to check that out there are a lot of videos in my channel so i almost made uh, like a 3000 videos of uh, every linux distro if you want to check you can check it on your own which are already available in my channel so i pretty much covered every linux distro so if you know any topic do let me know in the comment section we can make a video on it so these are all the same basic things you just need to change your language just uh, two or three applications added and made a uh, uh, russian language and that's the change in here there is nothing uh, difference so i don't think uh, it's uh, a good option to purchase this thing if it's for free you can try it for free it's a, uh, a free iso file which i downloaded you can try it for free so if you want to buy it's clearly up to you i'm not going to recommend or do anything like that so there is nothing more other than the same gnome desktop features so it's a good option go with the ubuntu instead uh, if you ask me and install uh, applications which you want like uh, inkscape blender if you want to use for the like uh, video and uh, editing all those things you can just add some of the applications and uh, work it on your own if you are a creator, content creator you can add all those like uh, multimedia apps and the photo editing apps you can do that on the, your own by downloading the ubuntu or some of the other desktop uh, other linux distros like a uh, linux mint uh, ubuntu like a lot of options are available instead of this thing paying for something which is not uh, uh, 
you don't have anything in here so that's the reason i'm trying to mention so if you had anything uh, like a change from the other linux distros you can go and purchase but there is nothing change here you just get the basic uh, gnome desktop environment and some of the applications which you can pretty much install on your own in the apps from the app store or you can uh, download from the outside so i'm trying to uh, make a stress test here which i usually do in every uh, linux distro so so that we can see whether this uh, distro will handle the day-to-day -day task or uh, like that so that's the reason i open a bunch of applications you see whether it will uh, crash or like that so right now there is no crashing in the applications or anything like that let us go to the system monitor and see so as you can see cpu went almost uh, 90 percent the ram is almost uh, 3.6 gb if you have like a low end pc it's better go with the lubuntu instead or maybe there are a lot of lightweight linux distros which i already made a tons of videos on lightweight linux distros you can just download that and uh, try it on your own if you want a new if you are like a distro hopper you can just test it on your virtual disk and then uh, if you want you can buy or you can just uh, download another linux distros so as you can see everything is opened almost uh, it took almost 50 percent of the cpu and 3.6 gb for just uh, basic applications let's try to switch the applications so we get any crashes or anything like that as you can see everything is working fine there is no lag or anything like that i accidentally opened uh, some of the LibreOffice application but everything is going good no lag or anything like that we we are trying to still open a lot of applications here it went to 3.9 gb and cache is 3.3 gb so there is nothing new here so i don't think i need to make a lengthy video here i'm just going to end the video by checking all the information and end the video here i already made another video of linux mint 22 wilma uh, which is xfc desktop environment and uh, other desktop environments are were already made yesterday so today i made a linux mint xfc which is a 22 beta version and here is the uncom os i thought there is uh, something new in here but uh, there is nothing change here just the gnome desktop environment so let's check the about evolution is a 3.50.0.1 let's close this thing let's check about endover 43 calendar 45 this is a website let's close this about library office we get a 7.4.6.2 Again, the library office 42.0, which is a photo app. I think this is a rhythm box 3.4.6. E box 42.2 table. Inta, which is a 1.6. If this is if this distro had anything new, I can I could install this and uh, try it on my own by changing the language. But there is no such thing in here, so I didn't uh, even try to install it on my hard disk or the virtual disk. Let's close this thing also. Here are some of the changes. If you want, you can change it. Set language. I, this is i think this is some other features when we don't know the language it's a problem so themes some of the customization let me close this here are some of the fonts let's close it 
VLC media player you get the 3.0.18 which is the latest version almost I think this is a document viewer contacts forty five point zero so the distro is pretty much responsive so there is no issue with the distro and there is no lag here is the app store about the app store uncom install eight point two point four Here are the information of the browser or the applications. Here is the Firefox. If you want, you can install. So I think that's the end of the video because we didn't have anything here. So here are all the processes after opening some of the applications. And here is the system resources after opening and closing all this application. The RAM went up to 2.3 GB and CPU is almost 25% under 25%. So I'm going to end this video here. Let's uh, check out the some of the features. There is nothing here. Let's check the settings and end the video. Let's try the desktop wallpapers and uh, close the video here. So here is the information which I already shown in the beginning of the video. So the internet, Bluetooth, themes and wallpapers. Let's try and wait until the wallpapers are loaded. So you get the pink and uh, some magnet blue uh, wallpapers. Everything is almost the same. Nothing changed here. Just uh, same colors pattern and the logo of the distro here is the dark theme let me show you that also let's try to change the color here are some of the features notifications search windows or the activities security cloud or the accounts here the volume display let's keep it natural keyboard printers usbs accessibility users So it is taking a bit of time here usually in every uh, GNOME desktop environment so we pretty much covered everything so let me end the video here here is the wall again same things nothing uh, special here as this is the shutdown button and some of the features here let me shut it down and again if you want to check other videos you can check in my channel and I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.